you can build your own structures at home. Let's go over to Liberty, Missouri and Mr. Forsman. His kids are designing their own towers to see if they can withstand earthquakes. Hi, my name is Eric Forsman and I'm a teacher at South Valley Middle School here in Liberty, Missouri. And these are my boys, Jacob and Tyler, who also attend South Valley Middle School. Uh, today, they have been working on some tower designs that they're going to create out of toothpicks and marshmallows. They've done a little research online on different designs, uh, different components of a structure that make it strong, and their ultimate goal is to withstand an earthquake. They each have a design here. Uh, Jacob has been working on his. You can see he's got some triangles, side view, top view, and then Tyler has done the same thing here. We're going to go ahead and get started on building the towers and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. So do you have any concerns right now? It's, it doesn't stand the straightest because the toothpicks, like some are kind of poking out the bottom of the marshmallows. So it's not completely even. What do you think of your design? I think it's pretty good. Anything that didn't go as planned so far? Um, the sides aren't exactly the same size, so. Yeah. Obviously, we did not have uh, the ability to go out and purchase a shaker table that you might see um, in some of the science classrooms, being that we're at home. So the boys actually researched and developed a little Lego shaker table. It's got a little ridge here that the towers will sit in, and then I will mimic the forces of an earthquake. All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. So there was our first one. It stayed intact. However, yeah. foundation did come off and it did fall off. Okay. Tower stayed together. However, it did fall over. So based on what you guys did, let's have a little brainstorming here. What would you guys do different? Create like a like a better way on the bottom to connect it to the because I saw that it came off. So there I think our like structure. Is good. What have you guys developed to help you fix this problem? We have a base isolation. Developed out of Legos. And then what, what do you guys have for your isolation? How did this work? Uh, so we have balls under here, which will help it like slide around more than it. And almost work as a bearing to keep yeah, it off. So the then ground. the whole building will move and it won't be as, yeah, it won't kill it as much whenever it is okay so you guys want to give it a shot sure, sure all right let's see what happens so i'm going to start my ice my earthquake here and you can see not too bad no. once again stayed together structurally foundation fell apart all right tyler here we go same thing same forces Last and longer. Okay, good. Based upon the amount of time you guys have, uh, this is a great way to really refine the earthquake proof structures lesson that you guys already do. With additional materials, research, and methods of testing, students can take this to the next level. Bottom line, this is real world science, and don't be afraid to fail forward, fail, learn, and try again. Thank you. Jacob and Tyler, great job on your earthquake proof buildings. A little better than what I did here. What designs do you have for an earthquake proof building? Put those down in the comments section. We would love to hear your ideas. Make sure that you follow STEM and 30 on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum YouTube page. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.